Ah, Christmas time. A time for family, friends and sitting around the fire with a warm drink. Or not, because today I have put in the challenge. The Borussia Dortmund is no longer here. We have the Christmas Miracle Crystal Palace Career Mode. Yes, so on the build-up to this year's mighty, mighty day, December the 25th, we will be taking Crystal Palace, who have got a random little uh, injection into the budget from a mystery stakeholder, all the way to the Premier League title, if we can do it. So this series will contain all the boys, Eze, Zaha, Jordan, Ayu, all the ones that we want to keep, all the ones we want to sell, and trying to get towards a Leicester City like Miracle and win the Premier League at Christmas. However, it ain't gonna be easy. There's big boys sniffing about. You know that about the Premier League. So watch, sit back and relax as we, Little Crystal Palace, try and take on a Miracle at Christmas by winning the Premier League. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the intro guys as welcome back to a brand new series. Welcome first and foremost to you guys who haven't been on the channel to the Crystal Palace Christmas Miracle save. This is a save of course centered around the big day the December 25th as you saw in the intro sequence where we're going to try and take Crystal Palace managed still by Roy Hodgson to the Premier League title. Now it's of course not going to be easy that's why we have like I said got a little bit of an injection of cash from Definitely not Keanu Reeves. To go to 228 million altogether. We can still get money if we sell players. Of course, there's no rules. I wanted it to be still a little challenging, so I didn't go for 500 mil. But then again, we want to win the league, and it's not going to work on 28 mil. And yeah, it does take the miracle aspect a little bit down. But of course, Leicester didn't do it without injections of cash as well. As we need to get signing today, we've got a bit of a, a little... Uh, pre-season going on but who really cares about that as we have to change this team around we want to use some of the main boys i want to use milenkovic i want to use eze i want to use zaha i want to use ayu i want to use all these but most importantly i want to win the premier league title so work must be done i think a new center back has to pri uh, be priority gary Cahill just not got the legs for it i don't think and ward possibly a right back left back right midfield i'm a fan of townsend but he can be a bench player and maybe a striker to keep her ayu and fat on the feet as keeper and left wing is definitely safe. I think Dwight and Zaha are the main players. They always end up with Zaha on saves. And yeah, we better get looking at some players. Of course, suggest some names down below. I will look at every single one of them. Consider we have the money. So hopefully we can sign some of them in. As I don't think we're going to use the Youth Academy as well, which saves a little bit more money. This is only going to be a one season save. I'm going to do a month at a time. So I'll probably play up to when the preseason is done, of course, today and see if we can get any good players in. But for this episode I've just drafted a little list together we've got a couple of big names here and I think we've got to start with a quite big name if you don't like the look of any of them please tell me but I might sign some of them today as I need to get some signed and the first one is going to be 33 year old Hulk not even that expensive as a little uh, little young Roy Hodgson there as uh, I haven't really took much notice of the player face gets a bid off for Hulk for 40 million and we will take that and we hopefully should do hopefully Hulk can join the Eagles right here Palace as please accept that he is right. The first signing falls through. I mean, I'm not really bothered. I offered him higher than he was on now and he was insulted somehow, but we can go for other players. And that's just part of the process. We've got to keep bidding and we're gonna keep losing us. This guy. This guy might be worth a lot of my money, but I wouldn't mind getting him in. Joe Gomez coming across from Liverpool. And I am gonna offer quite a bit for this. 50 million. This is a quarter of our money that we've got. As he wants more, does Jürgen? That's a bit greedy. 65.5 is probably the highest I can go for this guy. 67, maybe, yeah. 67, we will accept. So it's a big chunk of the budget, but I think it's worth it. And if you're going to win the league, you've got to start with your back line. That has to be strong, period. As hopefully we can get him. He's worked with Hodgson at England, I think, or I'm pretty sure he has. So hopefully he accepts his wage. But they're not asking for the wage. So this might be another one turned down. You know, I'm going to offer him 90, which is more than he's on now. But please just take it. And he does. Joe Gomez on a big wage for Palace joins us. And there he is in all his glory. Unfortunately, it's Cahill who moves out. I'm going to trust Kiate with the armband as well. So you might have seen I've changed formation. I've gone for two CDMs because they can play there. And a cam. Although I might want a new cam. I said I wanted to use Eze. But will he really cut? A winning 
team, Premier League winning team that is of course, I think of course is good enough for winning in the Prem, as we're going to go in for another player now, and I'm looking at Ayu replacement in Ben Yedder but then again I think I'm going to go for Neres because I want a winger the most as they're not going to sell him though we'll have to keep his eye out for that because we've actually got a bid in for Ayu as well we've got Batshuayi in the bench I might I might just accept that let him go go on go to Wolves Ayu because we can get in another striker which of course you have already seen of course I need to jump into some games straight away so we've got Granada first I'm going to go through the team sheet going to play the team that I want to play the most because, of course, we're off for one season for the Prem. So, I'm not bothered about bringing you through with Guaita in goal. Ward, Kayate, uh, Gomez and Van Aanholt at the back with Milovojevic. Right, I need to get that spot on with McCarthy and Eze as well. Townsend, Ayu and Zaha. Of course, Townsend or Ayu, sorry. Both of them might go because I'm not really a fan of keeping Townsend for a Premier League winning side. As can we get the win? Of course, we simulate the uh, international fixtures, if you're new around here, as we lose it. Okay, we want to win the Prem when we lose to Granada. Great, great start. Oh, that's mildly frustrating as Ayu has gone now as we move on to Istanbul, a probably better team in my opinion. He's got a bid for Kayate as well from Ajax. Ajax won't let us have a look at Neres, so he's not getting a look at Kayate. The manager might have to do without as we are going to go with the same team, although it looks a bit tired. Schlup up front. I'll just try it. Why not? As can we win this one? We don't. Another 1-0 loss. What is happening to us, boys? Oh, well, I hope pre-season doesn't put you guys off because it's not putting me off. Of course, we've got a lot of money still to spend. And let's spend some, shall we? As I wouldn't mind this guy, Ben Yedder. Let's try and buy him. By Yedder, that's what we should call it. Because, of course, he is high in demand. He's a very sweaty player. You might see that I'm going for the meta players because if we're going to win the league, although it is an ultimate team, we do want some meta boys as we want to keep money as well because 200 million, although it is a lot for Palace, isn't much in the grand scheme of buying big, gritty players as they do accept 45 right now to the contract, which we hopefully can get through and not balls it up like we did Hulk. Uh, so he'll probably want Crucial. We will give him that. Of course, got no other striker. This guy's going to just suit the up front position like crazy suit it stick to it as much as he can as i don't know why i just got put off because arteta is his representative agent how is that even possible we'll accept the wages though 66k a week he's a lot cheaper than gomez and he's a striker higher rater ben yedder welcome let's try and make it hat trick this time round and do it right hulk is now available we can't go for neres let's go for him and see if we can get him for cheaper this time 12 million we offered 14 and they'll accept cheaper okay i mean he is 33 but age does not matter for us in this career mode Sound a bit dodgy. As we know, we've got to get his uh, money right. There we go, 66 grand. That's what he wanted. So 20 was actually bad. As he's on the same as Ben Yedder, and we have three players already. As hopefully having these three can actually get us a win in this last group stage game. Oh, it's been terrible. I don't know why it didn't put Batshuayi up front straight away. I mean, I've got this good right back as well, Ferguson, but he isn't high rated enough at the moment. As we're going to put the main boys in. Townsend, sorry, you aren't getting a chance. And Ayo, you didn't even get a chance. You went as this is the new look team. Probably could do with a right back, a CDM, maybe another centre back and a left back now. But of course, I want to leave you guys some suggestions to make. I don't want to put every single position in. So I'm going to hold fire for now. Of course, I might make another sign in today if we don't get through this game. But if we can do, we might get a bit more money. And we are going with the team you just saw. There's another question. Quick look at it if you need it as, come on, Hoffenheim are a decent team, but they've fallen off a little bit as of late. So they're playing the 4 one 2 one 2 which is overpowered, but can our overpowered new team beat them? They can't, but they are dominating games. I'm going to give them that. Of course, simming games isn't the most reasonable thing as well, so when we go into the season, we'll have to make sure we play them. But I would like a win, boys. Because I think this guy maybe could be an answer to our questions at centre-back. We're not going to play his release clause. want to save a little bit of money. can play centre-back and CDM. I know he's lower rated than the positions we have. But I feel like in-game he might be better than the likes of Kiate. And that, of course, is Nicolas Stark. He's a bit used on an ultimate team as well. So I am going for a bit of a meta meta little uh, back line. He's got 9 million. Nice sum of money if we can agree on the wages, that is. As these haven't been going correct as of late. But we'll offer 32, which is 1k more than he's on now. Please don't turn us down. Okay, he wants a bit more on the signing and clean sheet uh, way, but we'll give him it. We'll just give him it. We want him in. And there we have it. He has joined the club as so we'll get him on the bench probably to start, but... 
We'll have to find a way to get him in that squad. I think if we get some training on, he'll definitely go up. And that's what we're going to next. Because I'm going to put all the players onto training drills. I want them to keep going up as Guaita can actually go up even though he's 33. That's actually decent. Because, yeah, it doesn't look like the uh, main boys are going to take that much longer to go up rating in Gomez, of course, and Stark, which are just going to be my favourite duo. Also, some of the youth players look like they can grow quick, like Ferguson in five weeks. He could possibly be a contender for right back, even though I'd probably want to bring a main one in. As we've got all that done, and speaking of partnerships and players, I'm going to go onto the list of players and see if we actually want to get rid of them. Suggest if I should get rid of some as well, if you really want to. But I'm going to go and probably pick out the main ones that I want to see go out. As it is mostly the older players I've listed. Ben Teke, Scott Dan, some good ones in real life, but ones we don't need if we're going for the title in this save. Tomkins as well, who I actually am a big fan of when he plays for Palace in real life. But it has to be done. Winning the league costs money, and players cost money when they're sold. I've got to get ahead and got two offers. Milivojevic, I don't really want to get rid of. But Gary Cahill can probably move on to Southampton. It's bang on his evaluation. Not much money, but enough. As Kayate, I can finally let go of. I feel like I can let go of him because Stark is cheaper and better in the long or longish term. Milenkovic, or not Milenkovic, Milivojevic staying here. Oh, I actually want him. I've got another offering for Ben Teke this time. It's only 1 million from Salzburg, but again... He's not really the bee's knees anymore. And Scott Dan, right, they're flying in now. I mean, they are low offers, but I don't think I could get any more out of them. I mean, I've picked Crystal Palace for the uh, the pun on names and the actual likeness of the team. I really like it. But then again, it's a very aging team, so it's not the best to sell players with. As we're almost at the end of the month where I think we'll wrap it up as Kelly now's got a bid in from Rio Abe, which is above his evaluation finally. And a Guaita offer. Now, six million from... From Derby County in the league below. He's an 80 rated. That is just poor. I'm never going to be accepting that. There won't even a player exchange in it. Even if it were Wayne Rooney, their main player, I'd never accept it. I think that was a very weird transfer. As Kayate has gone, Kelly's talks have broken down. But Schlupp, another player I would not mind getting rid of, although he's very decent in real life. I am going to get rid of. Bologna has put a good offer in him as Guaita. I know he's 33, but still, he's 80 rated Derby. No offence to any Derby fans. I know I've got a couple who watch in the sports hive, but I, I, I don't think he's really going to drop down to the championship when he's on good form. He actually played really well for Tottenham. I think it was yesterday the time you're seeing this. As Kelly's got another offering from Getafe. We'll accept this one as well. However, I don't think we're going to see the outcome of that one because we've had a very hectic transfer time in the first episode but of course in the next one we've got more to come we've got games to come in the next one as we are on the 30th it only is 31 days in july so we are going to end it right here i'm going to see who we've got in the league as well is it the real fixtures or is it different it's brighton okay so it's the big game on the first Okay, I don't mind that as we have Brighton, West Ham, Arsenal and Fulham. But unfortunately, guys, you're going to have to wait a day. Well, yeah, a full day to see this. Because unfortunately, guys, this is the end of this episode. I'm not to my mic. Thank you for watching. If you're new around here, like, comment, share and subscribe with the notification bell on as well. We do career mode videos every single day along with a live stream on Ultimate Team of a Road to Glory where we spend no money and try and get big, big packs, which we should have at the moment with icon swaps coming out. So stay pumped for that. Stay pumped for this series and stay pumped for the Arsenal one. If you do want to go ahead and watch it, it would mean the world to me. In a bit, guys. See you all later and peace. <laughs>